Hi guys, happy Thursday. It is Friday Eve. Everybody do the dance of joy. I have been looking forward to this weekend since Monday. <laughs> you ever have weeks like that where it's just like, gosh, the weekend just cannot get here long, soon enough. The week seems like it is dragging on forever. Some weeks I have just absolutely fly by. This one has just been literally going and going and going. And I'm like, oh, come on Friday, get here. It's always that way. Hey, hey Suzanne, hey Katie, hey Caitlin. I feel like it's that way because I have been looking forward all week to not only the weekend, because I feel like I need some major downtime. I don't know, last weekend I just didn't get enough rest, so I need to do that this weekend, but I have been waiting on my new oven. Oh my gosh, you guys. So. <laughs> I know this seems very trivial. I'm letting people trickle in. That's why we're chatting. Just in case you're new here, we always chit chat in the beginning <laughs> until people start filtering in. Good morning, everybody. So I am waiting on our new oven to be delivered and it is supposed to be here tomorrow. It was supposed to be here like two weeks ago and oh, it's just been a thing. But like the very first day of um, safe at home, the next morning, the bathroom downstairs flooded and the oven, we have those two wall ovens, you know, that sit in the wall, they completely quit. So not only did we have a lake in the kitchen, but I also had two ovens that went out. Ugh. So we've been this entire time without an oven. I'm so ready. And I think that's why this weekend has been dragging on because I'm looking forward to like having an oven again. And I don't kitchen, you guys know, I don't cook. I can boil water for you and make you some cereal, but that's about it. <laughs> But we have, it's Oven Eve, yes it is. We have been making a list of all of the things that we cannot wait to eat that we have been missing from not having an oven. And oh man, muffins, that's like on the top of my list. So <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. And so on that note, Friday cannot get here soon enough and neither can the weekend. So how is everybody? How have you guys been? Has your week dragged on forever and ever? Am I the only one that feels like it's been Wednesday for like seven days? <laughs> <laughs> and it's finally Thursday. Oh, Tina says she needs brownies. Girl, me too. I have I have brownie mix. I have cake mix. I have lemon bars to make. I have muffins to make. Oh, by the time it's all over with, I'm going to be like, you know, that's okay though, right? It's all good. All good things. All right. So today's project, getting right into it. Today's project is going to be a fun one. We are playing with some of the new seed beads, yay, that were included in the Magical Mystery Bead Box. So we are playing with the Sunshine Rainbow Tohos. And those came in, let's see, let me lift up the mat here in five different colors. So there was a hot pink, a blue, a yellow, a white, and like this really beautiful teal color. And um, we are going to create a pair of earrings. I know you guys see me wear these a lot. These are my very, very favorite earrings right now. I wear them all the time. Um, we made these over on the Sarah Ellis Designs channel using these electroplated shell beads and some of these African trade beads. And I love them. So Sarah was like, as soon as the seed beads come out, can we please do a project similar to this? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make some rainbow earrings very similar to this using some of the beads that were included in this past magic mystery bead box cannot wait to show this to you guys because these earrings are so colorful and cheerful and just upbeat and I feel like you know that's what we need right now is some cheer and some sunshine I don't know about you guys it's been really cloudy and gross all week here which I think has contributed to making it seem like it's taken forever um, so some sunshine is definitely needed and I think we're gonna get that in these earrings for today so all right, let's get to this. You're just gonna need a few things. So we're gonna use some of the um, mini mixes that were included in the Jesse James Beads uh, Magical Mystery Bead Box, and we are using those seed beads from that pack. You're gonna need some 24 gauge wire. You're gonna need about 20 inches of 24 gauge wire and an ear wire or maybe some jump rings. That's pretty much it. So it doesn't take a lot, but the results are really, really cool. We're going to play with seed beads, guys. Let's get to it. I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell I'm dancing? <laughs> okay. So getting right down to the mat. So a couple of things. First and foremost, the seed beads are underneath here and I have them covered because we're going to work with wire first and every time I work with wire and seed beads, things get a little messy. So I've got the seed beads covered up 
so that hopefully I don't flip them all into the carpet while we are working with our wire. All right, so for the body of the earring, I'm using 24 gauge wire and I apologize for the bead mat. We have to use the bead mat with the seed beads. So this one is, is serving a purpose. The other one is holding our seed beads. So anyway, that's why it's not white today. I apologize. Anyway, for the 24 gauge wire, you want to give yourself about 20 to 24 inches of this. You wanna have plenty of this. Good morning, good morning, Jamie, good morning, Jane. Hey, Clarice, so glad to see everybody. Miss Sylvia. All right, so you wanna come down on this wire and you wanna give yourself a bit here, okay? We're gonna do a wrapped loop, but we're gonna give ourselves um, plenty of extra wire because we are going to do extra wraps for this. So give yourself a good three to four inches, okay? And we are going to bend that wire 90 degrees, okay? And don't forget, this is a really long piece of wire, so the rest of this is under the table here. And then we're gonna come in with our round nose pliers, and we're just starting this off exactly the same way that we start everything else, else off with a wrapped loop, so up and over, okay? Roll those pliers out of the way and take that wire on over to the other side. All right, now I'm gonna switch hands and we have this really long tail here. We're gonna do about 12 wire wraps. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and there's 12. Okay, and those don't have to be perfect because these are all gonna get covered up, okay? So if they're not nice and neat, totally fine. Oh my gosh, Wanda says, I'm not comfortable with seed beads, I call them demon seeds. Okay, so <laughs> some of you may have heard me say that I have a love-hate relationship with seed beads and that is absolutely true and I can sympathize with Wanda because I love seed beads and I, I have in a previous life done a lot of seed bead bead weaving, but when they co-mingle, you guys, when they mix with each other and they make a big mess, that's the part that I don't like. <laughs> so it's not that I hate seed beads, it's just that they are so small, it frustrates me. So I feel your pain, I can feel your pain. All right, so we're gonna add a bead to this and we are using a bead from the blue little mini mix that was in our Magical Mystery Bead Box and I want kind of a long shaped bead. So we're gonna use this really pretty blue glass bead. This is gonna be the center of our little rainbow that we're gonna make. And then from the Rainbow Bright mini mix that was in this, we're also gonna use some of the tassels that were in here. We're gonna hang one of those really beautiful rainbow tassels from our earring at the end. So that's why I have both of these out. I'm just gonna sit these to the side for just a second though. Again, keeping these seed beads safe underneath here so that I don't have to use my sentence enhancers today. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna thread on this bead, commingle, right? I don't like it when they commingle. It drives me crazy. <laughs> I don't like the blues and greens touching each other. <laughs> okay, so I've thread on this really beautiful blue bead. This is gonna be the center of our earring and we're gonna build around it. And so we need to do a wire wrap on the other side and we need to have the exact same amount of wraps. Now you guys have probably seen me do this before. I know I've done this over on Sarah Ellis Design. So if you guys have seen me, I very rarely measure. It is always just an eyeball situation. But if you wanted to come in and make an exact measurement, I'm gonna guess that's about a fourth of an inch. It's a little over a fourth of an inch as far as how much the wraps are. So you want to come to the other side with your chain nose pliers and you can measure exactly or you can just eyeball it like I do. That looks like from the bottom of the pliers to the top of the bead, that looks like enough space. And if it's not, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this ruler out of the way. Okay, so same thing, we're gonna come in with the round nose pliers and do our loop down here on the other end. So I'm going up and over, okay and roll the pliers and take this over to the other side and switch hands so that we can do the wire wrapping. And I can already tell that this was in the wrong place. I, I overshot quite a bit 
but that's all right nobody will ever know and you can tell like my mess my wraps on this side are messy totally fine that's pretty close but I can tell this one is just a smidgen that's a technical term you guys just a smidgen longer totally fine okay so I'm gonna stretch out my wire because I've got this big long tail that we're working with and we're gonna use the seed beads next okay so make sure your wire is nice and straight you want to get rid of any of those kinks that you've got okay now I'm gonna unveil the seed beads I'm not really unveiling I'm just bringing them out here they no longer have protection say a little prayer for you no commingling I see you blue get back over there where you belong okay so we are going to use I'm not going to use the white but I did want to put it out here so that you guys could see it we're just going to use the colors for our earring um, not that white isn't a beautiful color but we only I don't want this earring to be like huge so we're going to start with the pink and we're going to come to the very end of our wire and we're going to just use this just like we would a needle okay and we want to put on I don't know probably about 12 if I had to guess that's not an exact number that's the thing about this earring is that um, with the seed beads there's no actual count here and I'll show you why here in just a second so we want to put plenty of beads on our wire so just popping those on okay and then I'm going to drop all of these down to our bead. Okay, so my wire is coming from the back of the bead. That last wire wrap is coming around the back to the front. Okay, always to the front. This is herringbone. And those of you who know herringbone know that it always has to go to the front. Okay, so the wire is coming towards the left over here I have filled it up with some seed beads and now what I want to do is I want to take the wire and the seed beads and very gently curve those along the edge of the bead and you may have to give that wire a gentle nudge and try try to get as smooth of a curve as possible okay as smooth as you can and it's gonna it's not really gonna be right up against the bead it's it's gonna come close but there is still gonna be some daylight between that bead and those seed beads you see the space there so there's a little bit of space here oh I'm sorry Trisha I'm, I just now looked up so I'm using 24 gauge wire um, the beads come along okay the edge there is some space there but they're as close as possible you don't want it to be you don't want there to be a ton of space okay the wire down here is coming to the front I had three extra beads that was too many so I've just moved them out of the way I'm holding on to them because they're gonna go over onto the other side the wire is coming across all of the wire wraps here on the bottom and I'm going to wire wrap around just one time okay around the wraps that were already here so now my wire is coming towards the right and we're down here on the bottom of the bead same thing I want to fill up the wire so that I can go up the edge of the bead so we're going to add some more seed beads here and depending on what bead you use in the middle that's going to determine how many beads you're going to use how many seed beads you're going to use to kind of curve up the side of your bead and both sides they're not going to be the same they're going to be off probably by a bead or two and that's really just kind of the nature of adding beads to herringbone wire wrap so just because there's 12 beads I don't know if there are but just saying if there were 12 beads here that doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be 12 beads on the other side it could be more it could be less so the number is really not important it's more just about filling up the space with beads so you kind of have to throw you know your counting of the seed beads out the window and just really kind of just fill up the space okay so I got lucky there were plenty here to go along that side so now I'm coming across the front of the wire wraps here and I'm gonna wrap around once and back out to the front okay so those pink seed beads are nice and secure they're not gonna go anywhere we're ready to add another row so the next row we're gonna use the yellow and 
we are just going to use our wire just like a needle and obviously each row is going to take a little bit more beads so I can expect it to be probably three or four beads more every time you go up a row not so much for the counting but just for you know just to be aware so that you when you're pouring out your seed beads particularly if you're like me and you don't want them to commingle you know about how many to pour out <laughs> you want to give yourself a huge pile because it really doesn't take many seed beads to make this earring and i gotta tell you cleaning up the seed beads even with a um i have a scoop and a little a little thing that I use even with those cleaning up seed beads is just like that's the worst part I'm telling you <laughs> drives me crazy okay so there's all my yellow beads I may have too many and that's okay I want to curve this now this time we're going around the edge of the pink so we're not coming to the back with normal wire or I'm sorry herringbone when you don't use beads you are going to come to the back right and go behind the last wrap that you did but when you're adding seed beads you're coming to the edge of the last row that you just did okay so we're going right along curving along the edge of all of the pink and again we're right up next to it but you can see daylight between the two so it's they're not crowding each other necessarily okay making sure that I'm gonna pop that last bead right over there. So I ended up, again, I had three extra. I'm just pulling these over here to the side out of the way so that I can do the wire wraps. I'm coming to the front of the wire wraps down here. I'm gonna wrap around once and back out to the side and I'm ready to go up the other side. So drop those three down that were too many and add some more seed beads to our wire. All right, so now yesterday when Sarah and I did the unboxing, she asked me about the seed bead spinner. I don't know if you guys have seen that or not. It's a Beadalon product. Um, the bead spinner would be a great addition to this project because you can just spin up your beads real, real quick. And um, you don't have to sit in and put each one on there's not quite enough there so if you've got one of those definitely bring that out use your bead spinner to to put your seed beads on your wire all right let's see what we got here it looks like i probably have too many this time well, maybe not yeah i've got one too many but that's okay pop that guy off and just want to follow right next to the pink on this side up here to the front going in front of all of the wire wraps wrap around to the back and back out to the front okay so now my yellow is secure so we've got the blue in the center we have this beautiful pink and then a row of yellow and now we're going to do a row of let's see let me check blue i can't remember i've got one of them partially made and so i want them to match obviously so we're gonna do the blue next. Ah, oh, that is such a good, that is such a good tip. Use a rent, uh, a rent, a rent roller, really a lint roller to get your seed beads up. That's so smart. I like that. So the rule in my house is if it hits the floor, it is no more. <laughs> when it comes to seed beads okay when it comes to other things meh, it kind of depends on the size but if it hits the floor the carpet gets it that's just that's just the way it goes i am not about to get down on the floor and look for seed beads in the carpet amongst the other beads and the dog hair <laughs> I mean, I'm a real person, guys. There are dogs that live here, and I do have dog hair on my carpet. I'm not pretending to be fancy, and I am not about to dig through the carpet to look for seed beads. So, <laughs> yeah. But now, I will look for a Swarovski. If I drop a Swarovski on the floor, yeah, I get down there in the floor for that, depending on the size. Now, if we're talking about a two millimeter, you can forget it. There's, You're never going to find that. <laughs> Okay, so I've added some blue. I definitely have more blue on here than I need, but that's okay because they can just transfer over to the other side. So I'm gonna go along the edge 
of the yellow, okay? That looks like there's a little crook in my wire that I'm not a fan of. So this, I get really particular. I'm trying to go kind of quickly here, but if I were doing this just on my own, I'm really particular about that curve in the wire. I don't want there to be any, um, any points see how there's like a little bend right there that's going to drive me crazy so i can already tell that this i'm i will take this apart and redo it because <laughs> i'm so particular about the curve right of the beads which is such a silly thing but all right come to the front of the wire wraps wrap around and we've got one row of blue ready and we're going to do our second row of blue so all those extra beads i just drop those down <laughs> I love that I'm not alone. Everybody is talking about dropping their beads on the carpet. And you know, and my Jesse James beads, that's the good thing about my Jesse James beads. Like I can spot those in the carpet immediately. So I don't have to like get down in the floor and look for a Jesse James bead. Like I see it when I drop it, no problem. I can spot a Jesse James bead on a person, I'm telling you like a mile away. <laughs> But a seed bead, now that's a little bit different. All seed beads that make it to the carpet get to stay in the carpet. They do get vacuumed up eventually, but I'm not gonna be going through that. I don't know about you, but. All right, so we're getting pretty close. Still lack a couple more beads here. So Carolee says, loving the color. She didn't think she would, but she does, right? There's just something about this color combination. It's just so, sunny and bright and cheerful. All right, there's the blue. I think I've got one too many. All right, come into the front of the wire wraps, wrap around and out, to, or I'm sorry, wrap around to the back and then back out to the front. All right, we're gonna do one more row. We're gonna do this really beautiful teal color. And then we will be done with our earring and you guys can see just how quickly this works up even with the seed beads. Seed beads are notorious for taking a long time because you have to do one at a time, but this earring works up really, really quickly. So you can get these together. Like you can have a pair in about 30 minutes. And I love that. I love it when you've got a project that doesn't take all afternoon. That just means that I can make even more, right? And I'm gonna have so many seed beads left over that I can make several combinations of the colors for these earrings, which is awesome too. This was, this was a good bit of seed beads. A good bit. Again, that's a technical term. Smidgen, good bit. Those are um, the new measurements. That's new math, don't you know? <laughs> that's jewelry making math. And there are no conversions. <laughs> I don't have a conversion chart. So if, unless you speak my language, <laughs> then you're out of luck. All right, there's the teal. And it is gonna take a little bit more of the teal because we're going along the, this is the biggest, longest row going around the edge of the blue. It kind of reminds me of the eye in a peacock feather right? Do you guys see that? That's kind of what, hey, look at that. That was like, that was the perfect amount of beads. I'm really getting like peacock vibes from this for sure. All right. So there was our row of teal. We've got one more to go. Boatload. Yes. Wanda. Wanda speaks, Wanda speaks, speaks jewelry making math. Smidgen. Good bit. Boatload. <laughs> Who else has one? <laughs> Oh goodness. All right. Get these last beads on here. Then I think the tassel really is the is the perfect addition to this. So, I'm I'm excited to see the finished piece here. I I started the other earring, the mate for this one this morning and I didn't get a chance to finish it. Um so I will have a mate eventually, but I had picked out the tassel to go on the bottom, but I don't know what it looks like finished quite yet. So this is gonna be, it'll be a surprise for all of us. All right, we're really, really close here. Let's see. Oh, I am like one bead short. 
Alrighty. So just so you guys know, some of you may not be super familiar with seed beads. This might be your magical mystery bead box might be your first uh, time using seed beads. So um, Toho's, these are really, really good quality seed beads and they are they are consistent in size and the holes are always consistent that's what makes toho's stand out above the rest um, is the quality that is there so just know that you know your the seed beads that you're getting these are these are really good high quality and beautiful seed beads all right wrapping around to the front and there we go we have all of our little seed beads on here i'm going to wrap around one more time just for good measure or twice whichever <laughs> a little bit of wire left over i'm going to trim that off all right and there we go so we've got a loop on the top and a loop on the bottom now there are two things you can do here we're going to add a dangle to the bottom of ours. Let me grab a couple of things here. We're gonna add a tassel to the bottom of ours, but if you don't wanna add a tassel, I'm gonna show you what you can do with that loop on the bottom. Let's see, did I do it in the ones I have on? I did, okay. So these are the ones that I have on. I just took off. It's the exact same thing, right? It's the exact same um, pattern of, of beads, wire, the whole bit. And at the bottom, the loop, I just bent it towards the back. So there was a loop here on the bottom where I could have hung something else, but I didn't want to because I wanted to have the bead, the extra bead up here on the top. So I just took my pliers and just bent this over and gave it a little pinch and you never even know that it's there. It just kind of disappears. So if you don't want to add anything to the bottom of this, just take your pliers, bend that loop to the back and smush it down a little bit and it'll be gone and nobody will ever know that there was even a loop there to start with, okay? Just a little trick. Okay, so we're gonna open up an ear wire. We're gonna add that to the top. Close that back and then we are going to add one of these beautiful little tassels from the Rainbow Bright. I just feel like that's the perfect addition. The little rainbow, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. So I'm going to grab us a jump ring and add that to it and our earring will be done, you guys. All right, open that, hook this on and then loop this on. I could probably use a four millimeter jump ring here, but that's okay. That's a six is what I grabbed. Is that not adorable? I love it. And this is just so cute. Perfect for the spring and the summertime. Lots of color. Definitely gonna go with a wide ar array of, of, you know, tops, shirts. <laughs> whatever it's gonna work with a lot of different things because we've got tons of color going on here I just feel like these are so much fun I hope that you guys have enjoyed these I hope that I explained it in a way that makes you feel like you definitely can go and do this if you've never done this before this style of wire and bead um, give it a try I think you'll see it's much easier than I think the finished results seem to look I think that it can look intimidating if you've never used seed beads before or if you're not used to using seed beads in combination with wire instead of you know your wildfire or your fire line or whatever um, so give it a try i think you'll see it's a lot of fun and it works around any shape or size bead that you choose to put in the middle and we have a huge selection of those <laughs> from our magical mystery bead box so you can make a ton and look at how many seed beads I have left over I have quite a bit left over there's some blue missing because it's over here on another project that's why there is less of the blue um, but yeah there's there's plenty left for me to make uh, several more earrings so all right gonna turn around I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see <clears throat> what it looks like hello good morning oh my <laughs> <laughs> don't look too hard all right so I'm gonna put this one on and voila is that not fun I love I love colorful earrings that's why I love the um 
the other one that I made with my other Jesse James beads. This one's a bit bigger, but this one is still loud and proud. Like the color combination there is just really, really beautiful. Lots of fun, super, super cute results. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope that you guys are excited about the new addition of the seed beads to the Jesse James beads website. You guys, it's good stuff. It's really, really good stuff. So not only are there seed beads in the Magical Mystery Bead Box, this past box, but there are seed beads that come in trio packs that are over on the website. And the colors are so good. The combinations are so, so good. So we can use them in projects like this. You can use them as beautiful spacers in between your bigger Jesse James beads. And there is a color combination for any project, which is awesome so you guys look forward to incorporating these seed beads in a lot of our upcoming projects i'm really excited about it as long as i can keep them from commingling <laughs> then i i'm looking forward to it i have a list ready of projects that we can do so you guys let us know how do you feel about it are you looking forward to using the seed beads what kinds of projects would you like to see pass it along to me pass it along to sarah and the rest of the jesse james speeds team because we always like to deliver what you guys want and you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I have a meeting at two o'clock. Well, it's not a meeting, let's be honest. I have a telehealth doctor's appointment, just a checkup at two o'clock. <laughs> but when that's over, I'm done for the day. I'm done, I'm going to count down the minutes until my new oven ovens get here. All right, have a great, great rest of the day. You guys enjoy your Mother's Day weekend. If I don't see you again before next week, I'll see you next week. Okay, bye guys.